What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're checking out Hogwarts Legacy. This is a Harry Potter game that the whole world has stopped to check out. It's coming out next month. So I am, it's interesting. I'm coming from an interesting perspective because before a month ago, I've never seen any of the Harry Potters. But one thing me and my wife are doing, we're going through and watching like old school hyped up series that I've never seen. And we're watching them like the whole series. So we went through we did Lord of the Rings. We did all of so Spider. I'm Star Spider Man. We did all of Star Wars. Now we watch all of Harry Potter as well. So I'm, I'm a fan. I like it. I'm interested in the world. But I know this game's coming out, and everyone's super excited. So I was like, let me check this out and see what it's like because I haven't seen too much gameplay of it. And I think this is a good opportunity for me to kind of gauge the audience and see if what your guys' opinions on the game are, if we should play it on the channel or what we should do with it moving forward. And this is also opportunity for the publishers. If they want to give us early access, you can. So we're checking out the IGN's preview to see what the game's about, what the thoughts are. So my family comment below what your thoughts are. If you're, if you're getting, I was gonna say if you're pulling, if you're getting the game, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, let's go. Let me see what it's about. We do not live in a world rich with great Harry Potter games. Okay. Nobody harbors warm feelings for the horde of chintzy, cynic- And I've never played a Harry Potter game, so if you guys played some of the older ones in the past, like, what was the games like? ...movie tie-ins that plagued the PS2 and Xbox during the mid-2000s. I guess they weren't so, good. So, when Portkey Games unveiled the big-budget Hogwarts Legacy in 2020, it was clear that the studio was aiming it, spectacularly it high looks with pretty good. interpretation of Harry Potter. After a two-hour hands-on, I can say with confidence that the wizarding... The flying looks pretty good. It looks like the little situation over here, the you know, combos and skills you have, look pretty smooth. Interface is nice. ...world has rarely looked better. The lilting charm, cockeyed whimsy, and high fantasy hijinks of Hogwarts Legacy I him. is rendered with dogmatic servitude to the books. Hmm. While the combat and exploration, the game part of this video game, How is, is it? robust enough to rope in more casual fans of the fiction. Hmm. Unfortunately, about hardcore? it's all happening at the exact moment the world is reconsidering their lifelong ties to one of the greatest stories ever told. Here we go. The final preview. If you haven't been keeping Let's up go, with Luke. the information drip, Hogwarts Legacy takes place in the late 19th century, and okay. therefore it operates independently from some of the more familiar touchstones of Potter lore. Oh, that's no good. No Voldemort, no Dumbledore, no multitude of Weasley surnames. Oh, no Dumbledore. You play as a fifth-year transfer man. student that will be built with a potent character that one, wh Why does he kind of look like Michael Jackson right there? <laughs> he he low-key looks like Michael Jackson. A potent character creator. Denoting complexion, hair color, ah, eyebrow hair looks pretty good. And yes, body types, vocal tenor, and the choice to be referred to ah. as either a witch or a wizard. Not bad, not Afterwards, bad. Afterwards, you'll be quickly implanted directly into the day-to-day -day scholastic rhythms of Hogwarts. My time with the game was brokered into two major sections. Which were? A treacherous story chapter where I was asked to both infiltrate and destabilize a nefarious dragon cockfighting ring Ooh. and a dulcet afternoon on the castle grounds where I solved side quests, played mini games, and soaked in the persona-like splendor of simply hanging out at school. Okay. The combat was the highlight for me. That's what you do most of the time. Expecting. In previous Potter games, the Quicksilver Wizard clashes of the books are reduced to dull, rote, third-person shooting galleries. Harry, Ron, and Hermione taking on an endless series of identical Death Eaters who all seem to brandish magical facsimiles of shots. That's a little too difficult. It looks like one of those games where you're going to find a lot of monsters at once. So, and you just spam your abilities. So, I think the cool thing is going to be combining the spells to see what kind of cold combos you can come up with. Shotguns and sniper rifles. Hogwarts Legacy changes the formula considerably. Despite the projectiles ricocheting back and forth across the arenas, the game functions more like a Ninja Gaiden-esque combo masher. Uh. Your character automatically locks onto wherever they're facing, and the hocus pocus that comes cascading out of your wand can be chained together like a screen-filling, health bar obliterating Marvel vs. Capcom tsunami. Yeah. Game I hope Director there's more depth Alan to it. Game Director Alan 2 compares the system to a sort of long-range dueling. 
Your arsenal is mapped to the face buttons, hmm. and after messing around with the controls for a few minutes, I was able to come up with some wild, improvised concoctions. I nice. leviosa my enemy into the air, tag them with some basic filler casts, pull them in close with an Akio before setting them aflame with the Insidio. So, the it's, it, it, it kind of gives me, like, on the oversimplified example of, like, Devil May Cry, with all the different combos you can use with all your different weapons and abilities to keep them in the air. So, that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing some crazy combos. Six engine absolutely revels in your chaos. Bodies fly across the map like they've become weightless and boneless at the mercy of your command. Harry Potter video games have tried and failed to replicate the fiction's unique take on spellcasting for Yo, this decades. dude hates them. Court Key seems to have established a structure that will likely be aped for years to come. Okay, so I, it, for what I'm hearing, he's pretty impressed by the gameplay. Oh, yeah. My stint wandering around Hogwarts itself wasn't quite as exciting as my trip to the Dragon's Den. Ooh. My character enjoyed a peaceful free roam back at home on the back of their flying broom, the Roach of Hogwarts Legacy, where they poked around nooks and crannies of the castle, soaking mm. up collectibles, deciphering basic puzzles, and completing the menial tasks assigned to me by my classmates. One of them accidentally put a charm on her books that caused them to flutter around in the air. I Akioed them back into her possession. Outside, I wonder how the involved the uh, quests are gonna be. I hope it's not a bunch of fetch stuff. I joined a round of what can only be described as wizard's curling. My adversary and I used our wands to usher a set of leather balls down a wooden platform. The closer they got to the edge without falling off, the more points we'd score. These distractions were pretty lightweight. Portkey didn't allow us to delve into, say, potions class or a meaty side quest digression, which left me hoping that Hogwarts Legacy will include some finer character moments outside of the core campaign. Let us broker a hmm. genuine camaraderie with the other denizens of the school. A Harry Potter game can only hit its marks if, by the end of the runtime, we're willing to lay down our lives for a kindly groundskeeper or an eccentric headmaster. It should also be said that Hogwarts Legacy appears to be swimming in the darker edges of the canon. It was shocking to see that one of the spells on my combat hotbar was Crucio, better yes. known to the layman as the torture spell, Ooh. which inflicts searing white hot pain in its target. In the Harry Potter universe, They're going Crucio for it. is one of the three unforgivable curses, a huge no-no. Perhaps these are the themes Hogwarts Legacy intends to deal with. Mm -hmm. How did Crucio become unforgivable anyways? Some of the finishing moves equipped my character were similarly macabre. After charging up a meter and tapping the two shoulder buttons, my avatar could reduce a rival wizard into a pile of sooty Looney Tunes dust. The Harry Potter books are centered around the purity of teenaged friendship, so it is weird to watch a fifth year take a life. Again, maybe Hogwarts Legacy intends to explore some of those questions. I feel but like Hogwarts Legacy is shaping up to be like the Game of Thrones, where this one is a lighter teen version. First brush, though, it's pretty jarring. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Of course, anyone who chooses to play Hogwarts Legacy must contend with all sorts of contradictions, most of which are far more important than the usual dissonance we tend to find in video games. J.K. Rowling has established herself as one of the most prominent anti-trans mouthpieces on the planet. The character creator in Hogwarts Legacy offers a huge amount of gender diversity, but oh, that can cannot change the f You can select your character as well, I mean, your difficulty fact that the author of these books remains the proprietor of the Harry Potter intellectual property. If purchasing this video game feels like a tacit endorsement of Rowling's retrograde worldview, nobody can say you're wrong. I spoke with Alan too about these questions during my visit, and you can read the results of our conversation on IGN, but you're not likely to find a clean answer to those concerns. It looks like we're finally getting a good Harry Potter game. Shouldn't it feel better than this? For more on Hogwarts Legacy, <laughs> check out the official cinematic trailer yeah, as well as some dark arts I, I, battle I can't even tell play. if they enjoyed it or I, I feel like they didn't expect it to be good, but it is. But they, they don't want to overhype it. So that's kind of where they were. Looking at the game right now, looks pretty good. I remember the big hype was the way the animation, the way the graphics look as well. 
it's not too bad. The gameplay, I feel like it's going to be really combo based. So that'd be cool to see all kind of combinations we can put together. But so far, not bad, not bad. I definitely, right now we got a lot of games on the pipeline. We got Wild Hearts, we got Mulong, and we got this one. So I guess based on the engagement, we'll decide which one we continue playing. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay smooth. Till next time, dear gamer, signing out.